Hey ladies, I'm here with the red carpet manicure and you guys asked me to show you guys um, how to do this so that is exactly what I'm going to do and right here I just have the kit it's the um, the must have kit that comes with the like essential everything except the LED lamp comes with the prep the, it says Max Adhesion Sanitizer. It comes with the Purify, which says um, Post and Pre-Application Cleanser. It comes with the Structure, which is a base coat and gel. The Brilliance, which is a top coat, which is a Seal Shine top coat gel. And it comes with the Erase, which is a gel no polish remover. And finally, it comes with the Revitalizer which is the cuticle oil and it's just it comes in a little box like this and um see top it just says the must have kit right there and I'm gonna go ahead and open it and I'll show you as a bottle by itself be right back okay I'm back with the little bottles out of the it's their small little bottles they are two fluid ounces and this is the erase, which is the polish remover. And then this is the purify, which is the pre-post application cleanser, which is the alcohol. It comes with structure, which is the base coat. It comes with, again, the revitalize, which is the cuticle oil. And the bottles are tiny, guys. This is a Brilliance, which is a top coat. And last but not least, it comes with the prep, which is a sanitizer. And then the color that I'm going to go ahead and use, which I bought separately, is this one. It's called, it's well, obviously red um, carpet manicure. It is in the color Perfect High Heels, as you guys can see right there. And it's supposed to be this blue um, holographic polish. And we'll see exactly how holographic it is when I'm done with it. So, for this video, since I didn't buy the LED lamp, since I didn't need it, I am going to go ahead and use my Sally Hansen LED lamp. It just basically, just you can use any LED lamp or... Um, um, LED lamp or UV lamp and in case you don't know the um, like the time wise it has it right here on the side of the box so I'm gonna go ahead and set up a little bit better and I'll be right back okay ladies so we're gonna go ahead and start with the prep and it says max adhesion sanitizer and we're gonna go ahead and do one hand at a time so and of course, start with pinky. This is supposed to be the, uh, basically the dehydrator. Let's see if it's not a too dark for you. Sorry. Still trying to get used to the whole video making. I want to be able to do more videos. It's just a little time consuming. Especially the fact that I don't have a camera. I'm doing it on my phone. Got to figure out ways to be able to have you guys see it from a good angle. As well as me be able to see what I'm doing. So that's the trick and I used to have a tripod but it broke and I don't really see a point in using and buying another one because it kind of sucks so anyway so it's prep and this is what they look like after I prep them well I did a prep and you can't really see that well but they are they do look kind of grainy so they are kind of Dehydrated my pinky 
the worst. So, the next thing is the structure. It's right here. You follow it directly after the prep. And now, go ahead and remember to shake them. Every time, gel has to be shaken very well. And you can see the consistency is like any other gel polish. It's very thick. Just, we gotta, after we shake it, since we don't want bubbles, just gotta make sure we spin it and then continue to polish. Let's try to do as thin as uh, layers as we possibly could. Even though this is super thick, super thick formula, even for the base coat. But we'll see how it goes. And it definitely has an odor to it. It's not the typical gel odor but uh, I smell it and it kind of smells like it gives me the smell of like garlic for some reason and no nobody's cooking garlic or anything in my house it's this like so sorry about that there we go they have the uh, gel except my middle finger just gonna show you guys just in case I don't know I kind of messed up showing you guys again there we go yeah and it definitely I had closed up the bottle and I opened it again yeah it definitely has the uh, um, garlic like odor to it okay so the trick is between um, pot between coats you want to make sure you don't have any gel on your nails, on your like cuticles or your sidewalls. So just in case, you know, it doesn't hurt to go around and just kind of clean it off. I don't have much on mine. It doesn't hurt and you might not see it now. But trust me, once it's cured, you will see it and it's it'll just look like a hot mess. So we're going to go ahead and cure that for... It says to cure it for it's right here for 30 seconds in the lamp. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And since it is this the small kind of lamp, I'm gonna do just four fingers and then come back and do the uh, thumb. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and now it's time. So they're all they're all cured, and shiny and beautiful. Now it's time for the polish, and we're gonna go ahead and do two coats of the polish in each nail, and again shake it very well. But at the same time, when it's shaken, just move the barrel around so you don't have any um, bubbles. And I don't know if you guys could see that very well, but that's the color of the polish. So we're going to go ahead and start. And try not to take off, um, well, try not to touch your nails. Because they are, like I accidentally touched it and it is sticky because you get an inhibition layer. But, um, don't remove it yet. Like, don't skip to anything just don't do anything just go directly straight to your polish and apply it again thin coats yeah, go ahead and start it
hope you guys can see that. You guys can see I totally got out of like on my side wall. Right there. Focus. Can't see what we got here. So what I'm just gonna do, just run around and just remove it. Simple. Until you cure it, this is very pliable. You could just maneuver it wherever you want. It'll be fine. Until you cure it. Once you cure it, then it's stuck. Like, it's not going anywhere. And, um, on camera, it actually looks a lot better than in real life. It's, like, super sheer. But, um, hey, we'll work with it. So that's that one. Just continue it for the rest of your nails. And this is, by the way, the first time I use it. I actually hadn't even opened it. And I was asked to show how I did it. So might as well. Hey, I need manicure. And, um... I didn't, I, I was trying to do it, I just regular polish, but then I was like, well, why not gel, who cares? And as you guys can see, I did, um, I'm noticing right now, uh, it'll focus. Okay, it doesn't want to focus, but, um, oh, there we go. So... That right there that you can see right here is a tip. And I had capped it. I did, you know, cap the tip. And, um, it's kind of shrinking. So, and it's weird because it's shrinking before it's even, oops, okay. touched it, touched my other now. So, I'm going to just go ahead and apply it there. What I was saying is that it started shrinking and it's not even being cured yet. Sometimes gel, when it's not applied correctly, um, they tend to shrink. And that's usually when it's cured or after it cures. But um, I haven't cured it yet, so I want to see what's going on there. So I'm making sure to cap this one. Now cap the free edge. Again, clean around my cuticles. Okay, and then just gonna go ahead and get a little bit more polish just to cap it again, just because like I said it's shrinking and I don't like that. I'm not a fan of it at all. So We'll see how exactly that works out for us. I personally, when I'm doing the capping, or as I call it capping, um, when I'm capping my free edge, I like the fact that it gets on my eponychium. On my eponychium because I know that it's capped. Like my free edge is capped for sure. As you guys can see, it actually went under my nail. And that made, that assures me that I did cap it very well. So, oh, see, as you guys can see, I did go all the way to, this, to my sidewall. And it's already going in. Shrinking inward. Hmm. Interesting. Look at my, look at my pinky. Like, in here. Uh, this is my, like, first time, like I said, using it in... Honestly, as of right now, it's not very, uh, not very much liking it, or liking the fact that it does that. It shouldn't do that. I've used other systems prior to this one, and the one that I kind of resort to the most at home, like gel stuff, is the Sally Hansen. 
And that one doesn't shrink. It does chip after like a bit. But it doesn't shrink. And this one is like totally shrinking. Like super fast. But I'm going to just continue it. Polishing like normally. See what goes on while I um, continue polishing it and we'll see what goes on with the rest of my nails as it's happening. That's totally weird. See that? This was one of the nails that I had just capped. Look, it's already like... Uh -huh, fiddle. Let me see if I can make it focus. You see how there's a, like, a dividend between there and there? Like, I put polish there and my free edge, I put polish on it as well. And it's not... Like, it's ridiculous. Look at this. It's crazy. It's like if I left the whole... Like, divider. Look at this one. Like, I feel like it's splitting. I don't know if it makes sense, but... It's weird. So, I had just... I just finished doing my thumb. And it's already... I kept the free edge. And it's already pulling away from the... From the uh, free edge. So I'm going to just go ahead. I'm not, like I said, I'm not very fond of this at all. Like, look at that. It's horrible. Um, yeah. I'm going to cure it and I'll see what happens next. So I'll be back. I'm going to cure it. This is ridiculous, but I'm going to cure it. Let's see what goes on. Hey, ladies. So I'm done curing it for the first, like, cure. First coat. And, no, I'm not, look at that. So, I remember I had cleaned this up. Well, now it's like, it looks like it's on my sidewall, but it's actually on, it's actually my nail. You can see right there. And it looks like it just built up there. And it's crazy because it's not on my sidewall, like I said, it's on my nail. But it just split, like between here and here, it just split, like. The polish just separated. Like, I don't know. It's, look at it, it's horrible. Like, it's really bad. I'd never seen a gel polish do this before. Even where I showed you guys that I like that it's on the bottom, so you could tell that's capped on the top, it's still separated. So, I'm going to continue this and go ahead and apply the second coat. Um, if I see anything more, like, even weirder than this, I'll go ahead and come back. But just for time-wise, I'm going to just do that off camera. And um, I'll come back once it's dried. So, I'll be back. Okay, ladies, I'm back with... I already um, cured it twice. And I don't know if you guys can see... But it makes, like, this makes it seem like you totally messed up and didn't get it how, didn't clean it up as you should have. And I'm not into that. It still pulls. Like, the second coat still pulls off the free edge. Um, which means that it is more prone for it to chip off or, look at that right there. Or it to uh, not last that long as it should. So that's, like I said, not the business. It's not cool. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, actually. I love the color. I like how it's shiny. But I don't like the fact that it makes it look like your nails are already growing, growing out. And it also looks like you missed a spot or like you just 
didn't go all the way to the edge and when you did you got it on your sidewall and that's not cute this one's pretty good actually look at that though like that's not no but um look at that I think that my thumb is the worst but um yeah that it just just I the more I keep looking at it the more I'm upset about it and yeah so I don't know ladies I'm just gonna go ahead and apply whatever my uh, top coat which is the brilliance I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that and we'll see how it goes oh well I mean I was kind of excited about it but then it's like how excited could you get with a polish that's already like pulling away from your skin and not even your skin like itself but I don't know I guess it's just me ranting about it because I was more excited about uh, this polish than anything else and I'm sorry about that Let's see if I could get this for you guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. Now I'm top putting on the top coat. And the top coat is a lot thinner than the base coat, which is rare. Usually it's the other way around. Again, making sure I'm capping the free edge. Although, I guess with this uh, gel system doesn't really make a difference because it pulls apart but um from itself but um yeah I don't know this is crazy I was I'm really upset like I had very high hopes about this and um I was like you know what I know I like the Sally Hansen let me try red carpet but, um, yeah, I honestly, like, up to this point, do not recommend you guys to waste your money on it at all. Like, just, I don't know, I just don't. Look at, look at my index finger. Like, look at that. Like, this is not, no, this is not cute. I just applied it, and I'm going to go ahead and cure it for... 45 seconds I'll come back. Okay, so I am done curing my nails and this is what they look like. And there we go. Um, Like I said, I like the color. I don't like the consistency. I don't like the finished look. I'm going to have to do something about that. Like That is not working out for me. So I'm going to have to, I don't know, put some rhinestones to cover all that up or something. But, um, okay, so now that I'm done curing it all the way through, I'm going to go ahead and use Purify, which is a pre and post application, which actually doesn't say any in the instructions. The instructions are right here on the side of the box. And it does not say anything about using it prior to um application so I didn't do it on I did I basically did this based on um the instructions and I'm just gonna go ahead and use any random little napkin it towel it it's gonna open this up and it's still sealed as you guys can see I've never used it which this is equivalent to alcohol or it should be anyway so I'm just going to open just a tad bit right there just for me to be able to clean up the uh, inhibition layer. So, as you can see, it's pretty moist. And you're just going to go ahead and just clear it off. And it should come right off. Actually, yeah, I was going to say it doesn't have much of an inhibition layer at all. The inhibition layer is, ladies, just in case you guys are wondering, like, what is she talking about? 
it's the sticky layer, the tacky layer residue that lays on top of any gel. And um, since it is a um, liquid acrylic, gel is liquid acrylic, ladies. And um, that's why it's hard. And look, as you guys can see, there's some blue in there. I don't know if it'll allow it to show all the way through. But there is some blue in there, meaning that some parts did not, the uh, top coat did not go over it. And it didn't cure all the way through. Enough for the polish to smear through the top coat. So that's the end residue. And that's it. They're... Oh no, they feel weird, ladies. Like, I'm not... I'm just saying. My last and final thought about this. Like I said... Okay, ladies, I'm sorry that cut off. But, um... My final thought about it is I don't recommend it. If you guys were thinking about getting it, um, I would just think twice because it's not very, like, I don't know. I personally don't think people should get it. Like I said, the color is nice. The consistency is okay. But I don't like the fact that it splits. Um, other than that, I don't know. I would get, the reason why I got it was because it was cheaper than Tylee Hansen. And it was more affordable for other people like my, like, you know, you guys could definitely afford this. Especially since, like, you guys saw I got it uh, um, on sale. So, I don't know, maybe again that's why it was on sale. Because of the way it works. But, um, other than that, ladies, that's the final look. Again, like I said, I don't recommend it. If you guys are thinking about doing at-home gel manicures, I would just say for you guys to just save up a little bit longer and um, just get the Sally Hansen stuff. It's better. Um, okay, you guys have seen my package before. It's like that. So, like, just save up for this one, honestly. That's my best option I could give you guys if you guys are trying to do at-home gel manicures. I'll see if you guys want to know how this, how long this, because I'm sure this is not going to last very long. But um, if you guys want to like have updates or want me to update you guys about how long it takes, then just let me know and I'll totally do it for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other hand and I'll go ahead and take pictures for you guys and show you guys that. So that's it ladies. Thanks for watching and for stopping by for my channel again. And we'll see what we do for the next time. So thanks for watching, ladies. Bye.